This video series is inspired by Eco Imagination. Adafruit Industries is an electronics kit company, so I sell uh, unfinished products like electronic clocks or battery chargers or wireless energy monitors, and we think that people um, really enjoy building something for themselves and learning how to modify off-the-shelf consumer products or building something from scratch. So everything that we sell that we design is all open source hardware. so that. Um, you, know, you, the consumer, has all the information necessary to repair it or to build one of your own and it sort of gives you more freedoms over all the things that you buy. It's a little bit of education, a little bit um, learning a new skill set and then you, know, you get to explore the product once it's done and like do something cool with it. I bought the kilowatt. I thought it was a really interesting piece of electronics because it tells you what your power usage is and so I plugged it into my computer desk. And so, you know, one day I was looking at it and I thought, you know, I bet there must be some way for me to get that information, how much wattage is being used, out and maybe get it into my computer because then I can graph it and look at trends because the more information you have, the easier it is to, you know, do something about it. There's multiple layers to hardware, starting from the mechanical layer to schematics to layouts to any software that's running inside of it. Like the Kilowatt has a chip that's running software inside of it. And um, getting the software out of a chip is really, really difficult. Usually you can't do that. That's, um, you know, it's locked down inside of this epoxy blob. But schematics and layouts are actually totally legal for anybody to reverse engineer. I can open up a kilowatt and trace it out and you know, make my own and that doesn't um, impede on their legal rights. I open it up and I reverse engineered how it worked and then I realized that I could add a little wireless radio, these XB radios that are really easy to get, and have that data wirelessly transmitted uh, safely outside of the box to my computer. So um, I did that in a weekend and you know, by Sunday I had a graph showing how much power I was using you know, per outlet. And it definitely made me think more about like, how much power I was using because it became a, a video game. Like how can I get that number lower and lower and how low can I get it while still running the factory you know, at, at full speed. So uh, having it on Twitter, which was just a really easy way to sort of have this microblogging every day would say how much power we used that day. Having a community where people are working together and sharing ideas, um, and I think that is helped by sharing the information so that people are more open to asking like, oh, I see you've reduced your power usage. What are the things that you did? Because I'm trying to and I'm not succeeding. So I think a lot of people really liked it and hundreds of people built uh, Twitter Watts and, and hooked them up to their Twitter accounts. Um, and, you know, people had little competitions between each other, you know, who could reduce their power usage 10 percent within a month. So, um, you know, having, um, you know, all the, the fun of like Xbox Live but uh, actually doing something instead of just like killing zombies. I'm a train, and some say I have a one-track mind, which can be a problem when other trains are going to the same place. Fortunately, some clever folks at GE developed Rail Edge. It helps customers optimize networks and assets and increase capacity and velocity. Eco-imagination, how the world can work better.